You are just so Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Amen. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive a true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge inflates with pride, but love builds up. If anyone supposes he knows something, he does not yet know as he ought to know. But if one loves God, one is known by him. So about the eating of meat sacrificed to idols, we know that there is no idol in the world, and there is no God but one. <clears throat> Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and earth, there are, to be sure, many gods and many lords. Yet for us, there is one God, one Father, from whom all things are and for whom we exist, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things are and through whom we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been used to idolatry up till now, that when they eat the meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience, which is weak, is defiled. Thus, through your knowledge, the weak person is brought to destruction, the brother for whom Christ died. When you sin in this way against your brothers and wound their consciousness, weak as they are, you are sinning against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I may not cause my brother to sin. The word of the Lord. Thank Thank you. God. God. Our responsorial psalm. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide, Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. way. <clears throat> o Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, Lord, along the everlasting way. way. <clears throat> Truly, you have formed my innermost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting ways. Probe me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if my way is crooked and lead me in the way of old. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting ways. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If we love one another, God remains in us. And his love is brought to perfection in us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say to you, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. 
To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others what you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be called children of the Most High, for he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. <clears throat> A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in turn be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning, morning Father. Today, for our reflection, we have gone in three avenues. Today, we have the optional memorial of the blessed name of Mary, and we could have spoken about that. We could have looked at this passage from the Gospel of Luke. It offers us many things to consider. But I decided this morning to look at St. Paul's first letter of the Corinthians. It's chapter 8. At first glance, what he's speaking of, meat sacrifice to idols, seems antiquated. I mean, honestly... When you go to Piggly Wiggly, you don't think the butcher at the Piggly Wiggly is offering you a ribeye that has been sacrificed to Aphrodite, which actually in Corneth, they had a temple, a great temple to Aphrodite there in Corneth. So that's not something that you think about. Okay. No. Paul addresses another issue. He speaks to the people because there's two type of reactions. Reaction one is from those who have converted who look to Paul as a leader and have questions. One, they question those who are eating meat, whether they purchased it or they've gone to someone's house uh, and had meals, or they had gone to one of the temple ceremonies for Aphrodite, <coughs> and they're eating of the meat, and they're questioning Paul. I don't understand. How can they do that? And then you also have that of that same group is a person who uh, who might have been. We call it a union now. Back then they would have had trade guilds, but. It's If you decided to convert to Catholicism and you were Baptist, would you disavow all your Baptist friends? No, probably not. So if one of your Baptist friends invited you to a meal, you who are now are Catholic, would you not go? No, but you see, that's the thing. Some of those who had converted from pagans who belong to these guilds, trade guilds, they also would question because my friend who I've known my entire life who's still a pagan invites me to their house. Do The meat, I don't know if it's sacrificed to idols. It was purchased at the stall, at the market, and it may have been, it may not have been. I don't, how do I handle it, Paul? So Paul has to face that group as well, also under the subcategory of the first group, those who question but yet Paul addresses another group, the other category. Those who willfully say, I don't care. And what right is it for you to care? We call it today 
my body, my choice. We use that same idea. And if you remember, the same group today that yells, my body, my choice, were having fits during uh, 2020, 2019, 2020, when a certain global pandemic was taking place. And those who did not want to take a shot would say, my body, my choice. And those who yelled, my body, my choice, all up until that moment said, oh, you can't say that. No, even though it's your body, it's not your choice. Because your choice may be putting me at risk. You can't do that. They de the logic, well, the logic fails. Okay, you can't say it and then hypocritically say another thing. And but that's what Paul's addressing. Because there are groups who say, I'm a Catholic or a Christian. It's my choice, my body, my choice. I can do what I want. Why is it that this, uh, you know, yeah, I have a right, Paul. I have a right. But Paul approaches it by saying, yes, yes, you do have a right. But you do have a duty as a Christian. Rights and duties coexist. And as a duty, you should look to those who are of a weaker per per. Per, uh, persuasion than you. Those who struggle with it. And your duty is not a duty to your body. It's not a duty to Paul. It's a duty to God in love. And that's why Paul says, if I, Paul, by the eating of meat, cause my brother who's weaker than I, to question and possibly even to give up on the faith, then you know what? I'll just I just won't eat the meat because my duty of love is I want that brother to get to heaven or sister, and so I'm a, I'm gonna just do away with this so that I don't scandalize them. I don't cause them harm spiritually. And that's what Paul is saying to all of us. Yes, we have our own bodies. Yes, it is our choice. But if our choices cause others to struggle and even worse, scandalize others, then in our duty to love, should we not reconsider our choice? Our right. Just a thought. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. We pray for those who are sick. Or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this mass, and the needs of you here present in our chapel today. We pray to the Lord. We pray for anyone who is affected by the storm Francine. We pray to the Lord. And we pray. For the repose of the soul of Edna Dale, for whom this Mass is being offered today, we Lord, pray to the Lord. 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 Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be our bread.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of the of the church. Please stand. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through me made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glories with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, to await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who saith to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you the of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive the Lord in my life, but I will say the Lord, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you, Jesus. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you, Thank you God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when we humbly pray. And the evil prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power, cross the hell, strengthen all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the rest of souls. Amen. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed is the Lord man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, the God of man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. 
Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be the glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, his angels and his saints. 